Well, earlier this spring, our Bermuda grass started back a little bit slow, and in some spots, we even had dead areas that were a result of spring dead spot, which you'll remember, that's a fungus that will attack the grass in the fall, and then there's also problems with water and a little bit of fertilizer applied too late in the year, and then in the spring, it really doesn't come back. So we had several areas behind us in our improved variety that just didn't come back at all. And it really is a great contrast to keep in mind that if you keep a well-maintained lawn and it's nice and thick, very seldom will you have any weed problems. But in those areas where the grass had died back, we had a lot of problems with weed encroachment. Now the problem this time of year, of course, is the pesky crabgrass. And remember, crabgrass has a larger leaf blade, and we've got several of it around in the areas here. And again, it's primarily in the areas where we had the grass die back. Now, crabgrass is a grassy type weed, so the herbicide that you would use this time of year is an, another selective post-emergence herbicide. And there's about three different types of products that you can use. There's MSMA, AMA and DSMA, and again, those are types of arsenical-type herbicides that we'll use on the crabgrass. Now, what you'll do, you'll mix it up according to label directions, and you'll go in, and we'll just use a hand sprayer here, and we'll spot treat those areas that we're having the problem. And remember to be sure and wear those gloves, because a lot of times you'll get some leakage around the handle or if you're adjusting the nozzle, and watch your sprayer pressure as well. But this is a selective herbicide, so the Bermuda grass is actually tolerant to it and it won't kill the Bermuda grass. And you can tell we sprayed about a week ago and it's starting to yellow out here. But we're also getting some discoloration on the Bermuda grass and even on the zoysia patch that's over behind us here. And what's happened, the temperatures have been above 90 degrees and so the grass has been discolored. Now it will come back on us, but really the the stress on the grass from the heat and the temperatures are what's causing it to yellow out on us a little bit. So the best time to apply this is after the crab grass has emerged and you're starting to see it grow, that would be the best time because the temperatures aren't so hot and the grass isn't so stressed. Now later on this fall, as long as the crab grass is actively growing, you can still use this product. But then in the spring, you want to come in with the pre-emergence, and really this is to catch what you miss from your pre-emergence herbicide, and that's just where you're applying one and you're trying to kill the seed as it germinates, where this is after the fact. So there's several ways to keep crabgrass under control. Now, you may have a situation in your lawn where the crabgrass has pretty much taken over and you don't even have any Bermuda grass or you've got some other weeds. That's when you would go to the non-selective herbicide, which is Roundup, and it kills that spot out. And remember, it doesn't sterilize the ground, so you can either plant back in that area or reseed, whatever you choose to do. Now, broadleaf weeds like dock and, and the dandelion, those things, the MSMA isn't going to work. It's only for grassy-type weeds. So remember, the best thing, again, is to make sure you keep the lawn fertilized and mowed properly and watered well then if you still have weeds, you can use this product, but really in the long run, you'll find out that you have very few weed problems.